Good afternoon everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Reframed by Damasosis92. Um, this puzzle was submitted to me as a tribute to Riff Clown, um, and I'm always going to pay attention to something like that. Riff Clown is possibly my favourite setter, um, definitely, yeah, possibly my favourite setter. Um, I always love doing Riff Clown puzzles, and uh, yeah. Um, so... Um, hopefully by, I, I think I know when I'm coming back, I don't know how I'm going to manage it all. There will be breaks, um, I'm sure, um, particularly as I'm having to leave for a week shortly after I resume videos, we'll figure out how it all happens. Please just take the content as it comes when it comes. Hopefully YouTube will continue promoting the content to people who are subscribed um, because when you break your routine particularly if you don't um, post every day um, it can stop putting it into people's daily feeds where it's like this is the content that you regularly watch if i skip a day and i may be skipping days coming soon so um, if you want to be sure click the little bell icon please like and subscribe as always but um yeah uh it, it's possible you may if I skip a day, you may not automatically get promoted the next few videos, and that's a little weird, so just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, let's have a look at Reframe by Demososis92. Now, one of the things that you may notice is if you open the puzzle link or look in the description, the rules for lockout lines will be worded differently to what I've worded above. And that's something that I might try and do a little bit more, which is the rules I've put in the video are the rules that I've workshop with Riff Clown. I've gone through with Riff Clown. I've got those signed off. We've worked through with, I've worked through with like more than 10 people to try and figure out a really solid wording for um, lockout lines that is clear and consistent. These are not the words used in the puzzle, um, but I'm not going to reset the puzzle just to include that wording. Um, if there was an egregious problem with the puzzle, I might do that, but there's not with this. I'm just going to provide the content that I'm providing, this video, with the clear rules, so hopefully that will eliminate any questions. Anyone who has questions in the rules from the puzzle, they could direct that to the setter. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to try and provide clarity on my part, but I'm not going to reset puzzles by default as much as I can. Um, if there's something I need to do, I will. Anyway, let's have a look at the puzzle reframed by Demososis92. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have lockout lines. Now, um, the wording as listed in the puzzle is on lockout lines, digits in diamonds must differ by four or more. But it's not clear which diamonds, like is it these diamonds or whatever? So I'm going to go to the rules that we have. Digits on blue lines cannot be between or equal to the digits in the diamonds at the ends of the line. So basically what that means is these digits must not, cannot be, um, and unfortunately I've got the wording on a different screen, between or equal to the digits on the end of these lines. Um, so if these digits were, for example, three and seven, um, then these could not be between or equal to three or seven. So they could not be three, four, five, six, or seven, because if they were three, they'd be equal to one of them. So if this was a three and this was a seven, um, then this couldn't, these couldn't contain three because it'd be equal to one of them. Couldn't be four, five, or six because four, five, and six are between three and seven and couldn't be seven because it's equal. So the only thing that they could be is one, two, eight, and nine. Um, so that's how lockout lines work. Now the digits in the diamonds at the end ends of a line must differ by at least four. So it's telling you that at the end of a, an individual line, the digits in the diamonds must differ by four, at least four, four or more. Now, there is another rule that's also worth noting, which is a diamond terminates a line segment because this, this diamond is connected to this by a line doing up here and back down but these ones don't have to be four or more it's these two that do because this diamond is terminating this line it's over complicated it, it seems like it's over complicating but i always get questions about lockout lines and i'm trying to reduce the amount of questions i'm getting about lockout lines with the wording above um, so we worked through that quite heavily to make sure that happened 
Then we've got Ren Ben. Digits on uh, Ren Ben lines, so the purple lines, um, must form a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So, for example, if there was a one on this line, it would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four would be fine. I couldn't do one, one, and then two and three because there is a repeating digit on the line and it must be non-repeating. But one, two, three, four would be fine. Um, if there was, I couldn't do one, two, three, five, because one, two, three, five is not a consecutive um, set of digits. So if you were to take them off the line and sort them, they must be a run of consecutive digits. A um, couple, couple of rules that often get questions, but it's worth, um, I thought it was worth going through the details. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, these Outside square Renban lines are eight cells long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means if I am working with the digits one to nine, they must either be one through eight or two through nine. There's no other way of doing it. Now, if there's a nine on this line, it's in one of those cells. Not sure how to, I'm really not sure how to start this. Now, I know you can never put a five on a lockout line. Now, why is that? I'm going to use this row as, as a way of explaining something important about lockout lines. I'm going to put all of the digits um, from one to nine on it. I use the top row, but I can't. Um, I might use, actually, I might use row three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, if I get two digits that are four apart, at least four apart, so there must be a band of at least four um, between a digit that you start with and a digit that you finish with, which means that there'll be three digits, that at least three digits between. So what you end up with, if you see here, one and five are four apart, so you end up with this band. So if this is the band one through five, these are the digits that can go on the line. And all I can do is move this to the end because you still, you could put two and six on the line and this could be the band. And then you could put one, seven, eight, nine on the line. Now you could put two and seven on the line and that would be fine, but you cannot go smaller than a run of one, two, three, four, five digits that must be on the line. So actually I'll make dark green actually. So this is locked. If, as a minimum. And because I've got a band of five, I cannot draw any band of five in this that doesn't include a five. So five is either on a diamond or um, not on the line at all. You can never put a five on an actual line segment because it will um, there's no way you can draw two digits four apart. And it's also an interesting way of being able to determine what can go on a line if you visualize it this way. So if I don't have one and two on the line, if I start with three, I must go to at least seven. And then what can go on the line is one, two, eight, nine. But if I determine the ends are three and eight, all that can go on it is one, two, nine. And if you use the banding similar to Ren band banding to sort of visualize the lockout line of what can go on it out side the extremes, it kind of helps, um, might help people. Anyway, I still haven't looked at solving the puzzle, have I? <laughs> so five in here, no, can't go in any of those. Now there is a six on this line. Okay, so I could have used that trick because if there's a six on the line, what goes in these? So let's actually go back to this. If I've got a six, so let's go to the cut, remove the coloring. This digit is definitely on the line. So how do I draw a bank, make four digits that are four apart that don't include a six? The only way to do that is with one and five, because if I do any other digits, I'm including the six somewhere. If I draw, highlight any set of five digits being what is the extreme digits and what's locked out, I always include a six unless my five band is one to five. So I know the digits in the diamonds at the end must be one and five. And these digits here must be six, seven, eight, and nine, because they're what's locked out. Now I can't put six in any of those, and I can't put nine or six there. This is a seven or an eight. Now, does this do anything? So there must be an eight on this, because this is either a seven, eight pair or nine, eight, seven, six. And this could be nine, eight, seven, six, I think. But it can't be, there must be eight, seven. So there must be a six on this. 
So one of those is a six. So this is either nine, eight, seven, six, or eight, seven, six, five. And I'm not sure what to do with that. And is the same true up here? No, because this could be seven, six, five, four, because I could put a six there. I can't put a seven or a nine there. So this is six or eight, but this could be six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Except I can't put a five on the line. Right, I can't put a five on this line. I just covered that. So there's no five on this at all. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. So these are both six, seven, eight, nine. That's cool. I like that. Now, can I do similar with these? Because there's the small ren bands inside. But this is five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And this has to be at least four different. If this is a five, that could be a nine. But if this is a six, this has to then go down. So this is one, two, three, four, five, or nine. That's not very helpful, is it? Hmm. Sorry, I just, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure if I did. I just had a quite a hot curry. So whatever is on this, must contain, I mean, if this is eight, nine, I've got lots of options for these. Huh. There is a six in one of these, but I could put the six there and then these would be from seven, eight, nine, giving me a bit more freedom on those. Because if these are seven, eight, nine, these could be like one, five, two, six. Well, I can't put six in any of those. But if this is eight, nine, I could put a seven there and I could put a low digit there. Um, hmm. Can I actually break into this puzzle? This has a maximum of seven. If this was a six, uh, no, that does, oh, it can't be. So hang on, if this is a high digit, it's a seven. Then the other digit would have to be, which it could be. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me much. Maybe it's something about these overlapping Ren bands I'm not understanding. Five here makes this one or nine. Five here does no such thing. Wow. Is it this? That doesn't have to. This can't be 159, can it? No, it can't. Because I can't put 9 in any of those. So the extreme here is an 8. And these have to be 4 different. So how does that work? But I could put a low digit here or a high digit here and two low digits and I'd be fine. Like I could go an eight here and these could be three and four and then everything is fine. I am very confused. Two is in here somewhere. I am very confused. Th 
Like we know five in this box is in one of those cells. No, that's not telling me anything that is feeling very useful either. I really don't know. By the way, it's also very common when setting puzzles like this to when you've got overlapping lockout lines like this to do a slightly different color lockout line um, for to dis, uh, disambiguate. But I'm a, I'm working with the assumption that if this lockout line was to carry up like this, it would actually be shaped so that this line connected through here. Um, particularly considering it's as you can see, it's very clear to be easy to be able to draw two lines um, that don't overlap each other in the same box. So this line would have gone down, across, and then up, not uh, not crossing over like this. Um, when lines cross over like this, it's generally meant that the, um, the line is going straight through, and these are separate lines. I'm very lost. Uh, these are these have to have two through eight on them. So there's a two in one of the. Oh, that's clever. There has to be a two on this because it's either one through eight, which has a two on it, or two through nine. But I can't put two in any of those cells because of the twos looking in. So there's a two in one of those three cells. But that means there's a two on this little four ren band. So. This is either one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. So these are one, two, three, four, five. But that's not enough, is it? So where's the eight now? I can't put the eight down here. I can't put the eight there. I can't put the eight there. There must be an eight on this. That is an eight, which means there's no eight in those. That's incredibly clever. There's no eight there. There's an eight in one of those two. That's very cool. And now there's an eight in one of those two. That's really cool. So now the two on this line must be in here. So it's not here. Now, if there's a nine on this line, it's there. And this would be nine eight. These would be seven six, and that would be a one. No, it wouldn't be a one. There wouldn't have to be a one on this at all. These would be would have to contain seven and six though. This doesn't have to contain a one. It has to contain a two, a three, and a four. Huh. But can I do the same trick down here? I don't think I can. Like, there must be a six on this line. It can't be there, so it's in one of those. And there must be a seven on the line, and it can't be there. So I don't have the same power. I've got... I love that two trick, putting two onto there, but I don't see how to continue it. That can't be a five. But I could put the five here if that's the five. One of these has to be a five. So the question is, can I put five... So if this was a five, five would go into one of those, but this would be the one and I could easily, 
I think I could put five here and make this one, two, three, four, and that would all work. I'm really lost on this. If either of those are an eight, that's an eight. Oh, that's not a nine. So nine is in one of those two. Except I don't need a nine. I just need an eight. I need a six, a seven, and an eight on this. Hmm. Wow, I am lost. I know I said that before, and then I found the two thing, but if seven on this line, seven can't go up here, so seven is in one of those. So if seven is there, seven is there. If seven, in order for it to be on the line, if nine is on the line, it's there. So seven and six must be in those cells. It's probably something to do with what's eliminated based on what goes into these options, but I'm not actually seeing that clearly. And I'm actually quite familiar with lockout lines. Now, these can't be one. F oh, this can't be. These can't be six. Oh, Lord, that's good. Because if this you put a six on this line, these have to be one five. And if these are one and five, that has no fill. There's no six in those. That's the six. That's kind of cool. Making that a seven nine pair, that becomes an eight. The seven nine pair takes nine out of there. This is one, two, three, four, five. This can't be five because there's nothing there that can work with it. It can't be four. Because the furthest thing away from four is seven, and that's only three away. This is a one, two, or three. That is cool. And now six is in one of those two, because that six looks up and sees those. So six is in one of those two. But there must be a six on this line. So it's in one of those three. Because I can't put it there because of that. There's an eight in one of those two. That was really clear and I missed it. Now, for there to be an eight on this line, the maximum you can put into the outlying would be seven. But you, hmm. So one, two, three with five, six, seven. Now that can't, it could be five. It can't be six or seven. So one, two, three, or five? Because if I put a four on the line, I'd need to put an eight or a nine on the line, and I can't do that with an eight on the line. So one, two, three, or five there, and one, two, three, I can't use a four, five, six, seven. Can't be six, can't be two. One five would allow this to work. Three doesn't have anything far enough away. 
five one would work and seven with one two or three would work if that's the nine so this is only one five or seven but these are low digits mostly oh you can never put five on a line i've said that many times i'm really not firing well today aren't, am i so these are one two three and four so if this is one i could if this is one i can't lock any of those out because this would be one, this would have to be five or higher, and none of those would be locked out. This is not a one. This is a five or a seven. So this isn't a five. Seven, three could work, though. But I need to lock digits out. So five locking those out would need to go with a nine. And seven, I could use three and lock out one and two. And these would be one, two. Hang on, five, oh, seven with three would work, yes. And if this is seven, this is one, two, or three, or that's nine. Okay, has that got me any further? This is Trixie. Hey, you Trixie, Roxy. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, if I could force one into one of those, still need to put seven on this line. If that's a seven, that's a seven. That's a three, and these are one and two. No, I don't see it. So this is one, two, three. So this is five or higher. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It can't be six. Because of that. If this is one, five. This would be, a, if this is one, five, these. So this is either one, two, or six, seven, eight, nine. It can't be six or eight. So these are, this is one, two, seven, nine. Because three with seven, eight, nine would allow that to be one, two, eight, nine. One, one with seven, eight, nine would allow this to be eight, nine. So this has to be, if this is three, this could be one or two. If this is two, this could be one. If this is one with seven, eight, nine, actually, if that's one, well, this can't be one, nine. It could be one, eight with that being nine, maybe. Wow. And this might be restricted. Because I haven't put an eight in this yet. So eight is in one of those two. Can I remove eight from there? Eight is in one of those two. Can that be an eight easily? In fact, really easily. In fact, any of those options allows that to be an eight. Huh. But what am I talking about? Eight could go there. So eight is in one of those three. So wow, this puzzle is man, I'm 23 minutes in and I don't think I found anything. I will point out. This was also submitted as an easy puzzle. 
None of my testers tackled it though. So I'm doing this one blind. That's a seven, that's a seven. Because I couldn't put seven on the line. That would put seven in one of those. If I could force one or nine off one of these lines, but I can't see how to do it. If that's a nine, that's a three, that's a seven. Right, if I put nine on this line, it goes there. That makes that a three, which forces that to be seven, and now there's no seven on this line. There is no nine on this line. This is a low line. Yeah, there's nowhere I can put nine on this line. Nine on this line would have to go there because of that nine. That makes that three, that makes that a seven, and then where do I put seven around the line? There is no nine around this line. This line is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we've already got eight on the line. There's no two in any of those. Six has to go up here. It's not there. So six is in one of those three. We know the two was down here, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this is five, that's nine. One of those is five. This is seven, three. These become one, two. Three would be in one of those. That's not it. The nine being proved off that line is cool. Nine is in one of those three. Mm. Wow. I don't understand this. I'm going to remove those. I don't understand this. If that's seven, that's seven. That's three. These are one and two. This can't be one or five because it sees each of those. So there's no one or five there. Similarly, there's no one or five there, but uh, I haven't been able to see how to prove anything to do with that because this doesn't seem to be as restricted. Like, I can't put a one down here because the minimum this could be is five. So two, three, four, five could go on to there. But I can't put a one down here. But... I've got heaps of places for nine. This could be nine, eight. Well, if there's a six on it, it's there. And these would be seven, eight, nine. Could those be seven, eight, nine? That'd be seven or nine. This would be a one or a two. Seven, eight, nine in those. But there's a nine on this. This is six. These are seven, eight, nine. Can that be a nine? If this is a nine, this is a three. And this is a one, two. Nine, nine, three, one, two. And this six, and these are seven and eight. That's eight, and that's seven. Hang on. Yeah. So if that's a nine, that's seven, and that's nine. That's eight. Hang on. 
that's nine six eight eight making that seven so nine would make seven seven now this is just weird that's not the way to do this I mean maybe it is the way to do this but it feels wrong oh that can't be a five it's the same trick if that's a five that's a one and that has no fill that is the seven so that can't be the nine that is the three three comes out of those seven come it was right there people have been yelling at me for what 15 minutes quite correctly that's not the three seven and three three and four can't go on the line that's the one two one two comes out of there one comes out of all of those this is three four five six that was right there the one two sees that that can't be a one and the one two means that there's no five on those these are three and four that was right there Seven means that this is the nine and this is the seven. Now this is not the nine. This is not a seven. Can I put nine on this now? If I put nine on this, this would be nine, eight, seven, six. This would be the eight, seven. This would be the six. This would be the nine. Maybe. Five and six are in there. Five and six are in there. I have to put five on this line. That's the one. That's the five. The one takes one out of there. This is really clever. I am not. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is three, four, five, six to go with that and but it's that digit because five and six must be there those two digits are the same those two digits are the same digit and goes down here somewhere yeah i've not been clever enough for this puzzle I have definitely dropped the ball on this one. Seven on this line is in one of those two. Eight on this line is in one of those. Five on this line? Don't know. There is an eight on this. There's a six, a seven, and an eight on this, but the six could still be in either of those two. That's the six, that's the six. If that's the six. Wow. But this is a different 3-4 to that one. So the, these see both yellow and green 3-4. Oh, ha, 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 ha. This is a 3-4. This is a 3-4, but it's a different 3-4 because it's on this little red band line. So neither of those can be 3 or 4. So that's the 6. This, these are not six. That's beautiful. That's not three or four. That's the five. That's not the five. And this is the green three, four. That's beautiful. And now these are three, four, eight. Because it has to have the green three, four in it. Now the yellow three, four is down here. That's really pretty. That means that's not the six. This is the six. There's no six here anymore. 
So this is could still be five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. That's so pretty. I'm hoping I can do something similar to that down here, but I haven't figured it out yet. But this is a six, so this can't be a three anymore. If this is one six, then this is from seven, eight, nine without being a seven. And if this is two six, this could have a one on it. There's no seven there. This is a one, two, eight, nine. So these are three, four, five, and there must be a five in there. There's no five there. Could that be green? Maybe? That can't be yellow. Green is in one of those two. This is a two. Because of that three. I'm really doing badly at this, but boy, oh boy, is it amazing. This is now a 189 triple. That's two. So this could be one or nine, depending on what this jumps to. But two and six, 189 is also fine. But one is in one of those two now. This is insanely good. That makes this the one and this the two. Puts two down here. Two is on this line. I knew two was on this line, but I now know where two is on this line, which I could have got from those two twos looking down, putting two in one of those two. Right. But where's two in this row? Two in this row is now there. This is a quadruple. Four, five, seven, and nine. There's no five there because of those looking over. There's no nine there. There's no seven there. Four or nine. What is missing from this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, four, and nine. So one or four there, one, four, nine there. There's no seven or nine there. That's four or five. Seven is in one of those two, which puts seven in one of those two. Now, seven on this line, we've already determined is in one of those. So if that's a seven, then seven is down here. If that's the seven, that's the seven. I, this is breaking me. And I, I kind of really want to push the check button and find out whether I've made a mistake. Five is in one of those two. I really want to push the check button and find out if I've made a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Do I know anything about this line yet? There's no one in any of those. If I put a one in one of those cells, I need to put, I can't put a nine on the line. But nine and nine means nine is in one of those two. So if I put a one somewhere down here, that becomes a nine. If that's a nine, I've got lots of places for one. Seven and eight are over here. I know the two is over here. Hang on. This is... This is three, four, five. This is seven, eight. That's a little four cell ren band. Three, four, five, six doesn't work. That's not a three. Four, five, six, seven could work. But there has to be a six in one of those two cells. And that six looks down saying it's there. So that's the two. So that's not the two. And this is so cool. If that's a four, that's a five. If that's a five, I've got options.
six, five, six, seven, eight would make those seven, eight or five. So this is, this is four, five, six, seven or five, six, seven, eight. So four, five, six, seven, eight is all this could be. And it can't be six, which I've already got. Now, the trick I used up here, surely I can repeat that. Now, what was it? It's that that digit has to go on this line somewhere. And it can't go in any of those cells. And it can't go in any of those cells. It's got to go... Hang on. Yeah, it's got to go there. Where is this digit on this line? It's not in any of these cells because it sees them in the box. It's not there, it's not there, and it can't repeat on that line. This is four, five, seven, or eight, and those are the same digit. Four, five, seven, eight. That can't be a seven. It can't be a five. So this isn't seven or five. So let's undo that and do that correctly. This isn't five or seven. This is a four or an eight. This is a four or an eight. So this is four. So this is the extreme digit. There has to be a seven on this. Four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. That's your seven. This is now a four, eight, nine, triple. So that's the five and that's the three. And that's a one. That's crazy. But I must have another four eight on this line somewhere. The one in this column is now in one of those two cells. If, if there's a nine on the line, it's there, and then that's a one. If there's a one on the line, then that's a nine. Holy cow. But I have to put a three in here somewhere. One, two, three, four. One, three, four, eight, nine are what these are. So this is three, four, or eight. Sorry, everyone. I'm really coming to terms with this puzzle slowly. This is at least four away from two. So it's not one, three, four, or five, and it's not six, and it's not seven. This is an eight or a nine. These are the same, these are the same digit. And if they're both eight, where do I put eight around that? If these, these are the same digit and if, because I have to put this digit around this line somewhere, because both four and eight need to go on this line and I can't repeat it. If those are both eight, where do I put the eight around that line? Because I can't do it. But this is six, seven, eight, nine, or five. Uh, this is five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. I need an eight around there. Those are four. Wow. That's not a four. Four is in one of those two. That's now a nine. That's an eight, which makes that a seven. This is not seven or eight. This is five or nine. I'm sure there's now scanning I'm missing. There's no seven there. That's the seven. The four looks across making that the one. This is not one or nine. This is four, which makes green three and yellow four. And now I can get rid of all of the coloring. There is an eight in here. So that's not eight. This is a one nine pair. This is, oh, the four looks back making that the five, which makes that the four. 
Is this the only place for an eight? Yes, this is the only place for an eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three and four, and the four looks across making that the three and that the four. Put four in one of those two, except that four looks down saying that's not the four, that's the four. Now, this is a quadruple. One, three, seven, eight. But seven and eight are both too close. This is a one or a three, and the three looks down making it the one. Taking one out of all of those. This is a three, seven, eight. Where's one in this column now? It is off the line. Now I need to put a nine on the line, otherwise I'd need a one. There's your nine. I can't put a seven on the line. That's the three, eight pair. There's your seven. One, two, three, four. Five and six need to go in here. So this is a five, six pair. Not sure how to resolve that yet, but it'll come. Where's five now in this box? There's your five. Where's eight in this box? Because I can't put it down there. There's your eight. One, two, this better work. Three, seven, and nine go in. That's working. The three and the seven make that the nine. This is cool. The seven looks down, making that the three and that the seven. The one looks up making that the nine and that the one. I pro No, I couldn't have done that by lockout line yet. Maybe I could have. I'm just completely flabbergasted by this puzzle. Uh, these are the two because that was what was missing from the column. These are one and nine. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six goes there. This is a triple, which is one, five, nine. There's a one and a five here, so that's the nine, taking nine out of those. The nine looks back making that the one and that the nine, which looks back making that the five and that the one. I really want to check that I'm correct with this. This is now a three, eight pair, taking the four pencil mark out, making that the four and that the five. The five looks down making that the six and that the five. The three, eight, I'm not sure how to resolve. It better come soon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the six looks up making that the three, which makes that the six. The three looks down making that the eight and that the three. The three looks up making that the eight and that the three. One, two, three, four, five, six, five and eight go into those. And I'll use that eight to make that the five and that the eight. And that is the correct solution. I was stuck in the, the reeds on that one for way too long. But oh my Lord, what a puzzle. That is stunning. And that is the sort of genius that I would expect from Riff Clown, but this is a Damasosis 92 puzzle and is a beautiful tribute to Riff Clown. And if it's possible partway through the puzzle, I went, oh my Lord, Riff, if I did, I'm sorry, this is a Damasosis 92 puzzle. I'm sorry, Damasosis 92, if I did that. But when I find tricky lockout line puzzles with this sort of thing, I, I think Riff Clown. And I know this was a tribute to Riff Clown that came in the email. And I'm sorry if I did that to you, Demosos. This was beautiful. Oh my Lord, what a puzzle. Wow. That's just great. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Wow. This is why I want to try and do everything I can to keep the channel running. Because puzzles like this, absolutely stunning. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'm really interested in the comments below to see how you will manage with that one. I'm sure a lot of you got through stuff that I didn't. But wow, the way these interacted, I did not see that clearly um, about where this digit had to go on the line. I did not see that clearly for way too long. Beautiful stuff. And, and, and the interaction of this line with the 1-5. Oh, my Lord. Those two cells were key and I missed them for way too long. I spent probably 15 minutes looking for something that should have been incredibly obvious. Just great. Thank you, everyone. Um, sorry about... <coughs> oh, repeating curry. Um, sorry about the delay um, in finding some of that stuff, but I think it was worth it. I enjoyed that journey. As always to everyone, good luck with your solving.